Hello, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a prototype. Um, this is a passion project from Ben McChesney. Sorry if I butchered your name, buddy. Uh, sent me over this to, to review and send back and his plan is to do a full production run. So if we ever get a chance to get the production run, I'll review that as well. But let's take a look at this and, uh, and then we'll play it a little bit and we'll talk about the design of it and see what I like about it and see what he has potentially changing in it. All right. Over the years that I've done these videos, I've reviewed a number of these kind of things where um, just one individual decided, hey, I'm just gonna go for it um, and I'm gonna make a yo-yo. And even if it's not like starting a company, or what have you, I'm just gonna make a yo-yo just because I, I just, I can and I want to and I have the ability to do so. There's so many options out there right now to be able to make your own yo-yo somewhat affordably. Uh, and even if it's just a couple prototypes, but his intent, like I said, um, his intent is to make a production run of these. I'm not sure how many. Um, right now, uh, he's saying that it's probably going to be around that 70 to $75 range, you know, some kind of moderate range. Anyways, really nice uh, looking yo-yo right now for the proto. Um, he sent a letter. I'm not going to read it verbatim, but basically in the letter, he's, he said that he started working on this. He had this prototype. Uh, I think he had 10 of them. Um, back in 2014 and so he went to 2016 worlds and passed them around and all that sold some off basically now he has two of them and I have one of them in my hand and so I'm gonna be sending this one back of course uh, but he was nice enough to trust me enough to, to kind of talk about it and and so on he's gotten quite a bit of feedback over the years of course now 2014 that seems like forever ago um, a, a very different world especially now right but uh, he was in and out of the yo-yo community. He's kind of come back and he's come back to this design and he's really now kind of uh, Reignited the passion to finally finish what he started. Yeah, he's gotten some inspiration from yo-yos like the catalyst, right? I could see that a little bit um, the puffin uh, particularly I can see that one uh, the original the first puffin and uh, What else? Um, Rec Revs electric daisy, which was one of my favorite yo-yos from them back whenever they were actually making yo-yos, which seemed like forever ago too. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of really cool like influence from older yo-yos and so on. And you can see where he pulled some of those influences into this design. Um, it's an H-shaped yo-yo, so let's just talk about the, the you know, everything going on here. It's an H-shaped yo-yo. Um, and it's, uh, it's in that 53 millimeter diameter, so it's gonna be in that mid-size still feel, in my opinion. I, I consider that still mid-size, 52, 53. Anything 54 and up, uh, I consider full size. Uh, and then anything over 56, uh, 57, that, that range, I consider oversized. So, just for the sake of the review here, 53. So it's a nice, you know, gonna be a kind of a nimble size. Um, you're gonna be, you know, should be able to kind of hit some of those tech tricks a little bit easier, kind of smaller pockets and so on, just because it's a little bit more nimbly. It's not crazy wide, but it's fairly wide. Um, so one of the critiques um, that, he, you know, one of the, the changes he may make is kind of widening it possibly. One of the critiques that I made, and I'll talk about this a little bit more um, as I throw it, uh, but that the gap could potentially be widened just a little bit too. Right now it's 4.5 millimeters, um, but widening it just a little bit on this particular yo-yo might give it a little bit more of a performance advantage. I think the yo-yo right now as a prototype is, is really good. It's really solid and I think there's a lot going on, it, going on for it uh, that he certainly should move forward with it. Uh, now overall the aesthetics of it, like the actual shape of it and so on, uh, the design is not really going to change. That's not, I don't think it needs to. Um, you know, it, it's got a really good profile. Um, you know, it's got lots of beefy rim, right? Lots of rim weight, good H shape, um, just comfortable in the hand too. Nice and rounded off edges. Um, the bowls there, that's particularly what reminds me of something like the Puffin, the original Puffin, um, especially that nub, of course, that's very Caribou Lodge-esque. Um, but yeah, nice deep bowls there. You're going to be able get some finger spin room in there as well as an IRG there so you, if you want to lock in and do some grinds and so on. All right, let's go ahead and throw it and see how it plays on the string. In the hand, on a catch, it's very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. I like that shape a lot. I think one thing that could be changed 
just right away, and I'll talk about this because I've had some playtime with it already. I do think it would be beneficial, maybe, again, I'm not a designer myself, but speaking just from experience from reviewing hundreds of yo-yos, is that I think the gap could be just a little bit wider, just kind of putting like a 0.1 millimeter a little bit wider. Right now it's at 4.5, uh, maybe a 4.6 or even a little bit larger, 4.65 maybe. Just kind of just give it that edge that might give it a little bit more um, performance. Um, so that you're not feeling like it's slowing down with more string wraps. Okay, that was a lot more than usual probably, but you're, I did feel it just, a, the binds are really nice. And I think that's one of the things that he wanted to make sure he kept so that the gap was really a little bit smaller so that binds are gonna be great. I don't think you're gonna compromise that by widening the gap just ever so slightly. I think just a little bit of that edge and, and that would potentially widen the yo-yo as well, giving just a little bit more stability. I don't feel like this yo-yo is unstable, but um, I think that would be just one simple thing that I would adjust. Really overall, I mean, let's talk about protos. I mean, a lot of protos that I play are not this smooth. And so right away, he's already got a very smooth, very playable yo-yo. I don't think even as is, if he just went ahead and put this on the market, I think many people would find it enjoyable. But if I'm nitpicking, that would be the thing I would pick is the gap, all right? Let's go ahead and do some of those standard tricks and we'll talk about some of the features that I think are, bent, are just great with this yo-yo. Uh, first off, regens are really comfortable with this yo-yo. Spin times are okay on this yo-yo. I think this is kind of a nice blend between a competition yo-yo and something that is a little bit more everyday carry, laid back, you know, chill yo-yo. There really needs to be another category for yo-yos like that, that are in that just kind of like balance between performance and what have you. So with competition still being a lot of the focus for a lot of players and performance, um, a lot of yo-yos are focused that way and it's easy to categorize them as that. And then there's players like myself who really just enjoy a more chill yo-yo that may not always have like the craziest stability or the craziest spin times or has this crazy wide gap or whatever. Um, I, but you want to balance oftentimes, you know, I want to be able to have a yo-yo that I can stretch a little bit if I am trying to chase the trick that I am still working on. I want something with a little bit more performance with it, but have that blend. I, so I think there really needs to be a, a, a middle category on its own. Um, anyways, that's just my two cents. You know, for a yo-yo that is not incredibly wide, I mean, 53 millimeters is not wide at all uh, in today's standard of, I'm sorry, not width, diameter. Uh, the, the width of diameter is not very large. Um, it's actually pretty floaty um, and which is surprising. Um, so it has has a, a nice quality with that. Uh, let's go ahead and do a finger spin and see how that performs with that. I think you're gonna have enough, even though you have that nub in the center, you're gonna have enough space to do a finger spin pretty well. Yeah, I kinda let it go a little bit longer than I would want to normally, but yeah, I don't think it's lacking there at all. Yeah, I don't think it's lacking there for finger spins, but enough that you have enough uh, room there in the bowl. Uh, for finger grinds, or thumb grinds rather, the IRG is nice. Uh, it hooks in there really nicely, no problem. Um, let's see, yeah, I talked about the, uh, the gap. Um, wraps aren't too bad, but once I get to like four, that's about where it is. Again, I think widening that gap is, is gonna be change those little subtle things Again, it's kind of cool to play something like a prototype and then eventually maybe play the production and you can kind of see where the process went through. Um, and I think it's cool that he's sending them out to reviewers like myself to kind of get more feedback before he just jumps in and makes a decision. Um, it involves the community and uh, I think that's a cool thing. All right, I'm gonna show you a little trick. Um, it's more of a, a closer, so to speak. 
and uh, it's something I come up came up with a couple weeks ago. I've just kind of been messing around with it. It's nothing crazy, uh, but I think it's flashy and kind of kind of fun. It looks like this. All right, so it, it's just a one and a half mount, and you can actually throw it out and bind that. I didn't. I missed that. Um, but if you want to get into a one and a half mount, okay, and you're gonna pull back, kind of like you're doing a branding motion, okay. All right, it's just the same same move pop here and then as you come up you're gonna cross your arms okay and then you're gonna pop it into a here we go into a uh, chopstick mount and then you can bind like so it's kind of a fun little closer so if you get yourself into a one and a half mount you can go ahead and do that again it looks like this like that cool right and then you can drop out of that I think it just looks flashy Again, you could kind of give it an extra spin, giving it enough momentum that you can actually bind with it. Uh, overall, I really like this yo-yo. I think it's a really great prototype that is pretty much ready to go. And so Ben, good job. Um, and I appreciate you listening and involving uh, the community and people like myself. Uh, it's been an honor to kind of look at this and I'm excited to see what it looks like in the production run and hope I get to play it then. Um, all right, so that's gonna do it for now for the Aussie, all right. Yeah. All right. Until the next one. Later.